It's me, an average guy with a lot of experience in watching YouTube. And today I will tell you which character AI alternatives I use to chat with the AI characters. Before diving into the video, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I post daily AI content to help you stay up to date with the latest informations. Now, many people ask me about which alternatives you use to chat with the characters since AI Sakai is down right now. So I thought that I will tell you about it. Now keep in mind that this is not a recommended list or any ranking list at all. This is just a list of those alternatives that I personally use. I will make a ranking type of list in the future when AI Sakai will be back. Also, I won't include any guide on how to use all these platforms because I have already made the videos on that. So I will give you the links in the description for those videos. I will only talk about why I like using it. So let's get started. Now the first alternative that I use is Sakura. I came to know about Sakura recently like a week ago, and I made the video on that. And yesterday, they also released the chat background feature too. That just makes it feel really appealing and relaxing in my opinion if you want to chat with the characters. It gives it a little bit of visual novel style, not gonna lie. They also have their very own models. So whenever I am bored with using Mythomax or the other Kobold models, then I switch to Sakura. It's pretty good to use. The only thing that puts Sakura behind is the lack of characters. They have many characters of various categories, but I think it is very less compared to the other sites, which is obvious because they are very new. So maybe when more people know about it, they will come here and make some more varieties of bot here. I will give the link of my Sakura video in the description. Now the second alternative that I use is Janitor AI. Now if you don't know, then Janitor AI is I think the biggest character AI alternative out there. To use it, you need an API so that you can connect Mythomax or whatever model here and then chat with the characters. And now you also get to use their very own LLM too if you had registered before October. So you have both the options here. The reason why I use Janitor AI is because they have a lot of characters on it. And many of these characters are very nicely written too by the people. This is what you get when many people use a particular site. Since they have very good written characters, hence the conversations are a lot better. If you guys don't know, then let me tell you that to experience very good conversations, you need to have two things. One is a good model, and the second is a good written character. So if you have a very good model, and you are using a character that is written very poorly, then you will not experience good conversations. Similarly, if you have a good written character with you, but you are using a very bad model, then also you won't experience a good conversation at all. So the model and the character card both need to be good. And since Janitor AI is like a big site, then obviously many professional character creators make their characters here. So you get a good experience here. The thing I don't like in Janitor AI is that first of all, their new LLM is in beta, so it works sometimes. And sometimes it doesn't, which is frustrating. Also, if you don't want to use LLM, then you have to open a Google Colab and then run it to get the API key so that you can use it here, which is again a little tough thing to do for most people. I will give you the links of my Janitor AI videos in the description. The third alternative that I use is Agnostic. I use Agnostic when I want to use the Mythomax model. This is because they host their own models now. Previously, I had to open the Google Colab notebook and then run it to get the API key for the Mythomax model. But since they have now started hosting their own model, hence it has became a lot easier now to use Mythomax. The flaw of Agnostic is that it doesn't have pre-installed characters on it. So you need to get the character cards from a different website and then import it here to use it. Which is again a lot of work to do for just chatting with AI characters. I will give you the link of my Agnostic video in the description too. So these were all the alternatives that I use. I hope you find it interesting. I would love to hear about your list too. So do comment which site you use and why you use it. I think all the alternatives are good in their own styles. So that is it from my side. Bye. If you learned something useful from this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more informational videos to help you all out. Goodbye.